Hello there everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made a relatively quick and easy $2 glue gun holder. My glue gun is constantly falling over, it's a total wreck, and I just really needed some place to put it where it wouldn't be dripping glue all over my tables. It's actually gotten quite irritating and a little difficult to keep cleaning up after. So I decided to go to the Dollar Tree and I got one of these uh, little kind of ramekin glass saucer things. It actually came in a pack of four, um, but I only really need one. So let's call it 25 cents for this DIY as well as a five by seven picture frame. You can get a longer one or I also considered a serving platter if I wanted to say add something to hold my glue sticks, but this is work gonna work fine just for what I need. I logged on to my usual website, canva.com, and put in a custom design that is five by seven inches so I know it will fit inside of my frame. And I basically just took some time designing exactly what I wanted the background to look like. I decided to go with kind of like a marbly background and some floral because we all know that I have a ridiculous floral addiction. This is the part where you get to be as creative as you want. You can add pretty much any images or pictures or phrases that you like. I was going for something pretty aesthetic and a cute and funny little quote I just wrote stuck like glue on it. Changed up the sizing and the font a little bit until it worked exactly the way that I wanted it to. And I just went to my computer and printed it out in the five by seven size. Make sure when you're printing that you do make sure it is on your best quality. Um, that is a setting you can change on your computer, but trust me, images just look so much better when they're done this way. And once that's all done, all you're really gonna have to do is take some scissors and cut around your image. So here I'm just gonna take apart my photo frame. The Dollar Tree frames always have uh, these kind of like peel back metal bits that are kind of a huge pain, but you get used to them after a while. And all I'm gonna do is just take out the old picture and pop in mine. But uh, after I cut it, because I had to pick just the most incredibly difficult image to see with the white on white background, I didn't quite cut it small enough. Um, I went for bigger and then just went back and decided to cut it smaller later because if you cut it too big in the fur or too small in the first place, there's really nothing you're gonna be able to do to cover it up once it's inside the frame. So I just cut off a tiny little sliver off the side and it's still a little warped, but I'm down with it. Pop your back back in and close it up. You can also remove the actual um, photo stand part off the back if you want it to lay flatter. Uh, mine's gonna be laying flat, of course. Now I'm gonna be taking this E6000 glue. I hate E6000, um, I think it smells awful. I'm like kind of right up there with Mod Podge, but everyone in the crafting community loves it, so. I figured maybe it was the most appropriate and especially for something that I really want to stick nice and well on glass. So I'm just taking that and squirting it, I guess, around the outside ring of the bottom of this saucer. Uh, don't do what I do and rub off your excess in the middle because um, it's kind of domed and it's, it's not gonna stick. You're just gonna have a little, little glob of glue staring at you for the rest of the duration of you using this. You're just gonna wanna stick it down slightly above whatever it is that you wrote or really anywhere that you'd like on the screen. Don't spill your E6000 like I did. That was a huge pain to clean up. But once you're done, you should be able to set your glue gun in um, at really any rate, wiggle it around or whatever, and it doesn't fall over. And I mean, at least mine doesn't. So if you liked this and you wanna see some more quick and easy DIY hacks that you can try at home, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I put out new crafty videos every Sunday. So thanks again for watching and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.